Hello and welcome to Sony Vegas Pro FX or Vegas Pro FX or Vegas FX or or FX or I don't know what to call this show. It's about making effects. What should I call it? Should just me a name down there. This is a show that will teach you how to do certain effects in Sony Vegas. Most of the time, Sony Vegas Pro, you don't really need it. Depends on the effect. But, well, we're using Sony Vegas Pro 10, and for this tutorial, the clone tutorial, we are going to use Sony Vegas Pro because we need the tool that is masking. Now, you can use the cookie cutter tool in Sony Movie Studio, for example, but only in some cases. Sometimes it will not be sufficient for your needs. It depends on your clip, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the video that we're gonna end up with uh, when we're done, well, I'm not actually going to make the entire video again, but I'm gonna show it to you right here. Hi, I'm Ominator. Hi, I'm also Ominator. Hi, I'm Ominator with a big jacket and a hat on. Hi. Okay, you got that video? Well, this is the timeline for that video. These are all the tracks. There's uh, three audio tracks and three video tracks. It's pretty simple, and uh, I'm gonna make a new project now. And um, we're gonna make it HD here at 24 frames per second. A very standard format for videos. And then I'm gonna click this button right here, open, and bring in these two video clips that I got. And now I'm going to cut these to my liking, so I'm gonna skip forward in the video. Okay, so now I cut the videos to my liking, so now I'm gonna insert two more audio tracks and two more video tracks because I have three clones. Okay? So the first, uh, or well, the original one, the original me, is gonna be here, it's gonna be on the top track, and then I'm gonna drag this audio of the second clip up to this timeline right here. I'm gonna drag him in here, and uh, that's the second clip right there, it's beneath it, so you can't see it right now. And I'm going to drag this audio up here under this video. It's this. Uh, it's the third clip. And then I'm gonna. Um, then I'm gonna start masking out here. So um, on the first one, I need to go to the point in the video where I basically stop and stand still and start talking and such. So I need. And then I make a keyframe at the mask. Remember to enable it. And then you go one keyframe forward. You can use the arrow keys to do this. Just uh, the left and right arrow keys, and we go one key, what no, excuse me, one frame forward. I'm basically just gonna mask out myself here. And I know I'm gonna go a little more to the left from my perspective, so I'm gonna mask, make a mask like that. Make sure it's set to positive, and you should see on the preview here that you can see your other clone now. Depending on your clip, it might look a little sharp, so you have to set the feather type. You can set it to out, in, or both. I'm just gonna set it to both here and you can increase the feather a little bit to kinda uh, eliminate a, the sharp lines between uh, the clips because the lighting changes over time and then we have a mask, I'm just gonna make sure it stays okay yes it does okay so that was the first clip, then we go on the second clip again you just click the event, pan and crop check the box for masking here and drag this uh, keyframe to well, the point where I stand still pretty much and that's pretty much right there. I'm gonna go one frame behind, make another keyframe, and then here, I'm gonna make the mask. Just a simple mask, nothing fancy. And that way, now you can see that because it's set to positive, I will appear over here because this is the only thing from this clip that's going to appear, which means that any uh, clip beneath it, any, any clip beneath it, um, will basically appear in this general area right here that is not masked so that means that I will appear over here so you cannot really have overlapping clones unless you do some really serious masking always I'm just gonna set the feathering here pull up like so and there we go then I can play it back and I have to kinda time the clips together So obviously it's not timed perfectly, not good at all in fact, 
So I'm going to drag the second clip and the third clip kind of away there and see if I can time it better. Okay, the third clip could use a bit more. And you see, there you go. That's your clip. Now, when the third clip here, it basically ends. Um, this will turn black because there's no footage to uh, place there. So there, you kind of have to cut out your stuff. I'm just gonna cut it right there, and I'm gonna delete these clips like so, so that it all just ends like bam, okay? And then you can fade it out, and you can do whatever you want. Just make sure to time it, because if I fade one clip like this, look at this. Excuse me, wrong button. You see, it kind of, you saw that? Kind of fades out. Only one clip fades out, so it turns black and then the other clips disappear. So make sure to time your fades correctly if you're going to do any of those. And uh, that is this, uh, well, well, that is it for this tutorial. This was how to do clones in Sony Vegas. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. If you couldn't follow this, then I'm sorry, you gotta look up some basic videos first. I got a tutorial on my page, it's in two parts. I could make it, I could splice it into one, but I don't feel like it, so. Anyways, you can just look that up if you don't know what you're doing at all. So uh, thanks for watching, have a nice day, goodbye.